Ryan Burke, question coming in saying, I'm running a dual boot with XP and Ubuntu 8.10. I've got VirtualBox set up with a 10 gigabyte virtual drive running XP there. I would like to migrate Quicken from my native XP drive to the virtual drive, but I cannot find my CD. Will it work to do a restore to the virtual drive of the backed up native XP drive and thus get Quicken going? Makes sense, he asks. Any suggestions are welcome, and this is actually from Drumstick in the chat room. Uh, Drumstick, I'll just tell you what some of the problems that you might run into there, Drumstick, uh, would be. I immediately, my concern with doing that is, now I should back up and I'll just say, you know what, it's, it's worth the risk because it is just a virtual machine and you can rebuild it and everything like that. You're not going to damage anything as long as you've backed up whatever is in your virtual machine, okay? So that said, Go ahead and try it, but the first time that you boot your Windows XP into that virtual machine, it's going to balk at you. You're going to get the blue screen, and it's going to say that Windows has shut down to protect you from damaging your computer, which is really a copy protection of the Windows operating system. So once you get that, then you can run, you know, insert your Windows XP disk and reinstall Windows XP in... Uh, in a repair mode, so you would go through as if you were going to restore, but then once you get to the point where you would normally format the drive, you would hit R, I think it is, to repair. You'll see the prompts there. Uh, and that's going to actually reinstall a lot of the DLLs, recreate the registry, things like that, and then you'll be able to boot that system just fine. If you don't think you can find that Quicken disk, then that might be the way to try, but if you can find that disk, that would be even better. Does that help you at all? <coughs> A hey, Jameson saying use Ghost, and that's what we're that's kind of wh what we're saying is that Ghost will will Ghost that actual physical drive. So if I can explain a little bit better, uh, when you boot into the Windows XP operating system drumstick, you're actually booted into that computer's hardware. All the drivers are loaded for that hardware, right? So then if you then Ghost that drive and then Ghost it into a virtual machine, all of your hardware has changed, even though you're in the same computer. As far as Windows is concerned, the hardware has completely changed. It's a completely different computer because everything is virtual. So that said, of course, it's going to think that you've copied Windows XP onto another computer, and you know that if you do that, it's not going to work. So the way to do that is to do a repair install on Windows XP once you've done the ghosting. It's not going to overwrite your, com your files and your programs. It's just going to rebuild the Windows uh, file system. It's going to install all the DLLs again and things like that that are critical to the boot. Uh, and then you'll want to make sure that you uh, install all the service packs that you had originally and things so that everything jives with the original, uh, original copy of the operating system, too. Give that a try. Let us know how it goes. But like I say, it's a virtual machine, so have fun with it, and good luck.